people who moved out of the parents' house before 30, how? I was kicked out at 16 and after couch surfing for a few months I moved into a studio apartment with four other people. When I say we were poor, I mean poor, most of us didn't have jobs. I lived off the worst of the worst food. Knock off ramen. Dollar store canned veg. Rice and terrible year old pasta. It was a wild few years. Kicked out at 16? Yeah. I had a myriad of mental health problems. Depression and severe ADHD look a whole lot like laziness from the outside. In his defense my dad thought he was doing the right thing, hoping to push me to take responsibility for my existence. They never really knew how to handle my issues. Or rice. I lived off rice for a full year. Fancied it up by adding some salsa, and then extra fancy by also adding ranch dressing. Those were hard times. Started working while I was in school. Got out as soon as I could. Yep, moved out for college in 2006. Came back for the summer in 2007, but thereafter I got an internship so I just stayed in the city. Got a job at the same place after I graduated. It was never some big moment for me, my parents are fine, just annoying, just a natural progression for me. Same but four years later. Came back for summer after freshman year and never stayed longer than a week since. Nothing wrong with my parents or their house I just enjoy the life I created outside of it more. At 18. Worked in construction. Lived on a couch with six buddies in one house paying for college. Bought cheap land during the recession. Then built my own house. Got kicked out at 14. Finished high school sleeping on friends couches while serving tables. Had a ton of roommates for the next 10 years. At any given time I was living with like 3 or 4 people, it was never boring haha. I am hearing that so many people are actually kicked out in the really young age as well. But I am not getting that why parents are so tough because in my country they try to keep them under their wings. My friend's parents were going to kick him out immediately after he graduated high school simply because that's what their parents did when they were his age. His dad fully expected him to go out at 18 and buy a house because he was able to. Then his dad got pissed when my friend did not buy a house and went to live with his uncle instead. Even after his uncle broke down the whole year mortgage is $2,200 per month with taxes and you expect your son, who works part-time at $7.25 an hour to afford a mortgage? With no credit history? Some parents do it out of tough love. Some parents do it because they shouldn't have had children. Some parents still think the world is the same as it was in the 70s 80s and think minimum wage part-time employees can thrive. My parents didn't kick me out, but there was definitely an expectation for me to be moved out and financially independent at 18. My mother walked into a job as a radio DJ at the age of 18 and then became a journalist with only a high school education a few years later, early 1970s, so she had this expectation that I could do the same. The thought of me being able to do anything like that in the 2000s was laughable. I was kicked out at 16, called the police, and they said it is illegal but the only action they would take is to call DIFES, and that organization would handle it. I was scared to go to foster care so I asked the police not to call DIFES. The police could not force my parents to let me back in the house. This was in the USA 12 years ago. Surprise that wouldn't fall under child neglect or something similar. It does, but the agencies responsible for caring for the child while the legal stuff is sorted out are underfunded and poorly trained equipped. Abuse in foster care is rampant and there is no other large-scale infrastructure to accommodate. I moved out at 19. My mom and stepdad moved to the other end of the town because rent was a lot cheaper. But I didn't want to live there so I looked for a small cheap flat L, found one, had a job, some savings. Somehow it worked out. Eventually found some used furniture and a new bed. Life was much cheaper like 15 years ago. I was in my late 30s when I first got a deposit back from a landlord. I was moving out of state. Georgia to South Dakota, and they were all will mail you the check after we clean the place up, which is code for you're not seeing the deposit. Except they actually sent the deposit. Like, the whole thing. Blew my effing mind. 
My dad died when I was 17 and my stepmom kicked me out. Sink or swim baby. All that aside, I don't think there's any shame in staying with your family in this economy as long as you're contributing. Communal living is going to be the new norm. Yes, the new old North American focused old new norm. I'm sorry she did that to you. Hope you're doing okay now. Thank you. I'm doing very well. It sucked but in many ways it made me a kinder and better person. I know I'll never fall as low as her no matter what. I don't know what 30 year olds are buying houses right now. We did apartment life until last year when we bought our first house at 40. It's rough out there, kids. About to turn 42 and still no idea if I'll ever own a home. I have sweet attic unit in three unit house that's better than any condo I can buy. So not looking to downgrade my lifestyle just to own. Yeah, family events have just turned into shaming me for not owning a home yet. I can't believe you're still throwing all of your money away renting. If I want to save for a down payment, I have to waste my money renting or I'll be homeless. Been saving for five years now, still nowhere close, but closer. The answer is 30 year olds in rural small towns. It still works out here. Even there the prices are starting to go pretty bad. It's pretty much impossible to find a decent house that's less than 100k and 12140k is much more normal for a not shitty house. Probably not too bad if you have dual income but on single income it's rough. Reading this comment makes me weep inside. The average cost of a home in my market is over 1 million US dollars. For probably the same quality house you see for $12140k. Owning a home here you're either filthy rich or you've owned it for decades. I was 19 and went to the cities on my own. I learned how to survive, not necessarily thrive, but I was young. Homeless. Only from help did I ever get anywhere because no job would employ me without a permanent address, no driver's license without a permanent address, no id without permanent address. A vicious cycle of you have no family. Ever wonder why you see homeless people and think why don't they get a job? No corporation is ever going to employ a homeless person. I applied to probably a hundred places. Was never a beggar or addict or alcoholic. People do not like homeless. Now I have a career, a life, a license, a home, a family. So I wish you all the luck trying to make it on your own. The year was 1999 and four of us split the $600 per month rent. Good times. No effing clue how you can do it today, but I remember my dad saying the same thing to me about buying a house and I now have two. Still, I'd advise you to start with roommates. Worst case, you'll be like me and realize you hate living with other people and thus strive to avoid prison. The year was 2010 we split 1004 ways. The year is 2022, we split 3004 ways, for a 3 bed, me over here getting into a poly relationship so we can split rent 3 ways. Well sometimes it's cultural. Sometimes people are kicked out. Some are forced to stay and help. Some ended up staying forever. No shame. Life is what you make it I moved out at 24 after attending university with a gap year. Lived on campus. Moved to the city and lived with roommates I had just met. Lived paycheck to paycheck. Loved every minute. Then hustled for a new career with training while juggling jobs. Then switched careers and moved up the ladder. Skipped having internet some months the first few years. Got a 40 hours steady job. Talked a landlord into letting me rent without an immediate first and last month rent setup. Worked my tail off on overtime until I could afford a cheap beater car. Only time I ever moved back home, parents have always lived in apartments, was when I got massively injured and couldn't walk for three months. Moved back out as soon as I could return to my job. Good that you have the steady job because nowadays having the steady job is actually not that easy thing. And if you don't have the steady job then I will say having the nice home for rent is not possible. I got this one back in 2016, and have been here over five years. Unfortunately with the increase in rent and home owning in my area, it's still a struggle. I can't actually afford to rent on my own in my town. Thankfully I have a fiancé, and our combined income keeps us afloat but if we want to do anything at all, 
We have to put major planning into it because bills alone are almost 50% of our combined income. So I can see why so many people younger and less fortunate than me are having a rough time. I'm only 28, but hit a semi-sweet spot when I landed this job. Why couldn't you pay first and last? Nice of you to get a handout. 1. It wasn't a handout, I paid first and last gradually which meant higher rent for the first 3 months. It wasn't the usual setup, that's the only difference. 2. Not that anyone needs to know, but I needed to move out ASAP for mental health reasons since I was living with an abusive parent, who was going through a psychotic break from losing my eldest sister to a vehicular accident. 3. I kinda hope you feel like now for how you worded your comment. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.